Well, hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I'm uh, mixing it up a little bit this time and going with a home decor video. Um, if you're new to my channel, um, I'm Travis. I garden in zone 6B here in Louisville, Kentucky, um, sometimes seven. Um, and on my channel, I do a little bit of everything. I do gardening, Halloween, um, decorating, primitives, uh, antiques, things like that. So, um, if you're into anything like that, welcome, and I hope you subscribe for more. So, I'm going to keep this video kind of short. So, what I'm doing here is I purchased this twin bed here for um, $80, I think, at the Peddler's Mall. And, yeah, it's a, I'm not a big fan of cherry, but I wanted a black bed with post um, ideally I wanted a um, poster bed but those are hard to find if you look at them online they're crazy expensive so I am gonna make this work um, I've got a couple cans I don't know why I only grabbed two um, pretty sure I'm gonna need more but uh, I'm painting it with this rust-oleum flat black and it should fit in well with my primitive colonial uh, theme here in my home. So anyway guys, I'm going to get this painted up and I'll show you what it looks like. And then hopefully um, I will be able to set it up in the bedroom and show you what it looks like there. So hang tight. All right, friends, it's got about two coats of the black spray paint. Now, I'm not gonna worry about the back because I don't have enough for one and you're not really gonna see it, but I think it turned out really good. I've got these, the, uh, the side boards or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I could paint those, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now because the quilt Whatever quilt I put on it, it's gonna cover that up. So I'm not really worried about it. I'm just wanting to get this done and in the house and get the room back together and trying to get it out of my way of the garage. I always show you guys the good, bad, and ugly here. <laughs> so here is my messy garage and I am trying to, uh, I need to organize and go through stuff but here is some of the Halloween props cemetery columns need to be redone the outside of them anyway here's some of my cemetery fencing it's just a mess y'all and I've got so many projects to do uh, we do plan on having a Halloween party and walk through uh, this year. We try to do it every other year, kind of, so it doesn't uh, get overwhelming. But uh, everybody's on board, so <laughs> knock on wood. So that is the plan. So lots of Halloween prop videos coming your way whenever I get a chance to get them done. Um, so yeah. Lots going on around here, and just real quick before I say goodbye, um, I picked up a couple more hostas, actually three hostas I think, yes, uh, two stained glass hostas, and I can't remember uh, what that one is, and then I picked up three more uh, Gara, pink Gara. So there is a little plant haul for you guys. And I've got 25 bags of black mulch. <laughs> That's all I could fit in my car. So um, I'll be working on mulching the hosta garden back there. I want to get all that kind of tidied up 
and looking good and whatever I have left will go out front um, by the road garden <laughs> uh, I don't know what you call it but uh, you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been following me check out the hummingbird there on the salvia can you guys see it on the black and blue salvia There he goes. All right, friends. So I'm gonna, whoops. <laughs> Try not to make y'all sick. There we go. Um, I'm gonna sign off and I'll do a full, um, my full weekly garden tour um, here shortly. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and um, subscribe for more Follow, follow along with me on my garden journey and my hunt journey. I do a home hunt, so if you know anybody, any friends that are into home hunting and Halloween in general, please send them my way. Would love to have them part of my YouTube family here. And as always, thank you for watching and please leave a comment. Alright guys, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.